What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game whose name I can't pronounce. Fidget Fade Fade I don't know how to say the name of the game. I have no idea. But it's a survival crafting sandbox set in a Viking world where you have to deal with trolls and like all kinds of spirits and things like that while at the same time building yourself a base out in the middle of the forest. And it's got really cool graphics. I like it a lot. We're like a little wooden stick man. A little wooden stick man with a pot helmet on. Because, you know, if you can't make a helmet out of pot, what can you make it out of? Um, there's some kind of icon thing over there. I don't know if I'm supposed to go to those or what they're supposed to be. But there's some rocks around here that we can pick up. I can't craft anything right now. I went to my inventory menu. Oh, I can craft things. Never mind. Apparently it added stuff to my inventory since I looked last. So we're going to need some stone. And I assume we're going to need to go into the forest to pick up some kind of like, I don't know, wood or something. Uh, fun factoid about the way that the universe works. Uh, stone is found in mountains. And wood can be found in forests. And so using that factotum, I think... Well, oop, there's another rock over here. Let me get that. I don't know how many rocks I'm going to need. Probably a lot of them, and so I'm going to try and pick up as many as I can. We do want to be on the lookout for monsters. Uh, this is a game that takes place in actual Nordic mythology, and so there are bad things in the forest. There is stuff that definitely does not appreciate the existence of man being around. Would you look at how gorgeous this game is? God, it's so pretty. It just looks good. Like, everything about it, I, I love the way the game is presented to the player. Like, it looks great. It's one of those games that just pops straight off the screen at you and makes you go, Damn, I want to play that game. Which is, what the hell was that noise? Which is exactly how we got here. Uh, I saw a screenshot of this game when I was going through. So a lot of people think that YouTubers, we just like crank out some videos or whatever. Not really. Uh, you spend a lot of time looking for games. Oh, it's a creature that wants to hurt me. Goody. Well, that'll be fun to deal with. Please don't hurt me. No. I'm sorry I came into your forest. I didn't mean anything by it. I just wanted to hang out and smell trees. I've never smelt the Everpine. It's never happened. All I can smell, I live in this city, all I can smell is tanneries. You ever live next to a tannery? It's not fun. It's not a good smell. It's almost like living next to a cannery. It's a little bit worse, in fact, if I really think about it. There's a lot of rocks around, but I'm not seeing a lot of wood available. And that's the part that, oh shit, he tried to punch me. What a jerk. What a horrible, evil thing to do. Um, Can I get like, I don't know. I definitely need help. I need somebody, help, not anybody. Is that a troll? Like, what are those? Oh, it left. I was going to say, if we can lead it into sunlight, if my mythology is correct, if we lead it into sunlight, that thing will turn to stone or something like that. Like, it, uh, it'll actually, it's just like in Lord of the Rings or whatever. It should turn into stone. Ow! I don't know what I just got hit by, but I just got hit by something. We've got rocks, we've got sticks, we have a plan, and we've got actions to undertake. So let's do this thing. It looks like maybe I'm having some trouble getting up the hill right here. That's okay. A lot of us have trouble with that. I struggle with it every single day. My first hill of the day is called, How the Hell Can I Get Out of Bed Today? That's the first hill that I have to climb every single morning. I lay there, and my phone's like, ding 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 And I'm like, uh, every single morning. Uh, but, you know, you find a will in a way. So we got a hammer that makes us make buildings, a flint axe for cutting down trees, we got a stone axe, I'll probably go with that since that'll give me a lineup on more wood, and it also gives me something that I can wield in my hand to make my life a little bit safer. Let's go ahead and bat this tree over here. Can I chop these trees down? Is this working? Looks like I'm knocking the pee out of that tree. It's littering the floor with tree pee. Okay, never mind, just keep smacking that thing. There you go. We just gotta find the hitbox, there it is. Does it turn into wood at any point? Oh, wow, that turned into a ton of wood. Yay. I have more wood than I thought was even going to be required. Let's grab it real fast. Mmm, grabbing wood. First thing in the video. I'm already doing that age-old YouTuber's joke. What the hell was that? Something just oodooed at me. Oh, it's a deer. I was going to say, stop oodooing at me. Can I eat these mushrooms? What happens if I eat a mushroom? Oh, I get health back. Yay, they're healing mushrooms. Is that an udu right there? I'm gonna call it an udu from right now because that's the sound that it makes. It goes udu, and then it runs up. It runs away. Udu, and then just like runs off into the distance. Uh, I don't know where we find flint at, but it'd probably be a good idea to figure that out. Man, going downhill is dangerous in this game. Let's maybe take that a little bit slow next time. How much daylight do I have left? 
Uh, we got a little bit of daylight left before the onslaught of enemy hordes starts to come after us. We can make a hammer. I think that's a good plan. So there we go. Hammer's been crafted. We have 20 stones. We have about... Eh, we have enough wood to make a club. I'll go ahead and do that so that we have a weapon. And then I am going to spend the rest of my time... I'm going to chop down one of these big-ass trees over here. Yeah, that's right, tree. I'm looking at you. Chopping down a tree like this with a hand axe would take forever. Oh, and then the tree kicked me in the dick right before it went down, too. Asshole, how dare you assail my testicles when I'm trying to turn you into useful items? How could you? There we go. There's a little bit more wood for me to play around with. Because you know there's one thing around here that Splatty likes to do. It's apparently play with wood. If you're going to be playing survival games, you're going to have to listen. It's a YouTuber's fact that you have to make a wood joke at some point during the episode if there is any object called wood. Alright? You have to make the joke. You don't have a choice. It's not a thing. It's like it's in your YouTuber's contract. Like when you sign up to be a YouTuber, they hand you the piece of paper. And the piece of paper, one of my stipulations for my contract is like, if there's wood in a game, you have to make a joke about wood that is somehow related to genitalia. You have to do it. You have no choice. It's just part of the game, man. It's just part of the game. I don't know if the map is randomly generated or if the map is the same every single time. Um, there always seems to be water in this direction. And so I'm going to assume that on some level, it's kind of similar. I don't know. Let's walk the shoreline, maybe? Maybe there'd be, like, some fish or something that we can see. There's a stick right there. That's not as interesting as a fish, but it's still interesting-ish. A little bit more wood on that side. Let's grab that right there. Okay. A couple more of those. Can I get the cattail stalks? No. I can't get the cattail stalks. What is that? That's stone? All right. Hmm. Can I swim? Is my next question. I can! Oh my god, I can swim. I totally didn't expect that. I was going out there fully expecting to instantaneously die. Oh, and I've got a wet status effect. I wonder what that does. It like increases the damage from lightning or makes it so you just get colder faster if there's wind or something like that. It's got to have some kind of effect. I got to eat some mushrooms so that my tree wound will go away. I got hit pretty hard by that tree when it fell over. And it did damage. And I was not a fan of that damage, and so, you know, mushrooms will save me. I don't see anything down by the shoreline so far that looks interesting. So, it might be in our best interest. That rock looks different. What is that rock? Flint! Oh, cool, we found flint. Nice. We have a flint axe on our on our inventory space, so I wasn't sure where we were going to get flint from. Some of these rocks look like they're bustable. Are they? I'm going to try it. I mean, this is an axe? I have my doubts that it's going to break the rock, and frankly, I'm messing up my stone axe right now. If I've got a club, it's just like a basic weapon. Oh, I can cycle through with F as well. Well, that's good. I didn't even notice that until I looked down in the bottom right-hand corner, and then it looks like I can also sheath the item by pressing the R key. And so that's good to know, just in case you ever wanted to put your weapon away. I'll probably make my base like out on a little spit of land like right here, so that I have like one defensible side, and if they attack one side, I can maybe swim out the back. An escape? I don't know. Sounds like an okay plan to me. Uh, it looks like nightfall is coming. Hmm. Let me see if I can make it over to this little chunk of land over here, and that's where we'll make our base for the night. We'll ride it out as necessary. It looks like flint is kind of rare, but I don't know if flint is frequently found. God, that was hard to say. Oh, there it is right there. I was going to say, I didn't know if it was frequently found, like found maybe along the shoreline is just where you get that, and it looks like that is the case. I mean, we found the one over there, so I feel like we've got pretty decent evidence that that's the thing. Uh, I need the hammer, and then if I press the 2 key, that gives me access to a fire pit. Let's do that. Yeah, add some wood to the fire. Go ahead. What's my inventory looking like right now? We've got a stone axe. We've got enough stone to go around. We could use a little bit more wood. So I am going to chop down a tree real fast while we wait. Hopefully without this thing hitting me and causing a bunch of damage like last time. Oh, good, the smaller trees just instantly explode into wood piles. Well, that's good. I'll keep that in mind for later then. I wonder if I can hunt or do anything more interesting. Like, what else can I make? Like, what other things are available to me that I can sort of, like, mash together? So let's say that I've got my hammer out. Uh, it looks like I can make a workbench over here. So that requires 10 wood. We have 10 wood, so go ahead and do it. We have a workbench. Yay for us. And then now we can do a door... We can do a wood wall. We have a, another, like, half wall right there. We can do, like, a wall patch. There's a roof. 
Okay. So there's like a ridge that I can put on my house too. There's also wooden floors. Interesting. There's poles. Stairs. We've got a bed. We've also got a storage chest right there. We've got chairs, tables. Is there... Was there anything in there that gave the impression... So let's say that I wanted to use the workbench, right? Does that increase the amount of stuff I can make by hand? Oh, I can make a torch now that I have a campfire. I could also make a flint axe, which I would assume is more efficient than our stone axe. Is there a way for me to throw these items out so that I'm not, like, cycling through stuff that I already have? Eh, whatever. Uh-oh. I hear the sounds of things that want to hurt me. Well, if he wants to duke up, we can do it. Eat a mushroom real fast to get your regeneration going. And we will hold the line by this fire, brothers. We will hold the line by the fire. If the trolls come, we shall bash them about the head. Oh, and one did decide to attack us. Oh, you can dive into the water, though, if you want him to go away. What the hell is that over there? Oh, there's some kind of fire spirit or something over there. That's a little terrifying. What happens? That's a gray dwarf. Okay. What happens if I, like, smack him? Looks like I did work right there. Oh, there's another one. What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, they're afraid of the fire. Oh, well, that's interesting to know. Okay, so if they're afraid of the fire, that actually gives me a reasonable fallback point to protect myself at. They're going to fall back every single time. I can actually fall back and gain my stamina back, too. And then... Oh, one down. Can I get that one, too? Uh, can I loot him? Is that possible? Oh, he dropped wood. And he dropped stone. Oh, there's actually loot on these little guys. Well, like, I'm curious what that is over there, but I don't know if I want to risk my life to find out. There's also something swimming in the water. I don't know if that's a dwarf or, like, a Rizulka or, like, what is that? It's definitely in the water. I wonder if it's just a water spirit. Is that a deer in the water right there, too? I wonder if I can go over there and bash it with a... I wonder if I can go smack it and get myself, like, some freebie loot. Is daylight over here? Oh, we still got a lot of nighttime left. So the night was dark and long, and there's lots of monsters everywhere. I mean, there's Udus swimming out in the water right there. There's an Udu right there. He's way the hell up out in the water. I'm like, hey, Udu, what you doing right now? He's like, oh, you know, Udu, just do what you do. You know how it goes. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel you there, man. Same day, different shit. Uh, today, I think we're going to focus as soon as the sun comes up and we get rid of all these monsters. Uh, I think we're going to focus on getting a base up and running. You can't come near me. I have the power of man's great fire. You better back off. You can call me Nordic Mowgli. I'm not messing around with your noise. Bounce on out of here. Oh, good. The sun is coming up. I wonder what happens to those when the sun come up. Like, do they just start to bleed out? Or, like, do they stay around? Does it get worse as time goes along? Like, do we have to worry? God, they did a great job with the environment in this game. It looks really good. I love the way the sky looks. I like the way the trees are set on it. They got the light level just right. So many games mess up little details like that about sunrises, sunsets, nighttime, and daytime. And it's cool to see a game where, like, all of the random illumination effects and everything really come together to make the world feel like it has an artistic motif. Like, everything feels like it's all part of the same theme or designed the same way. They're going to run back into the forest. I don't really know how this is going to work out for me. Oh, I just busted up my club. I should probably make another one before this gets worse for me. Yeah, I had a feeling that might happen. Let's make another... Oh, I can't make another club. I don't have the stuff that I need to make another club. I got a flint axe, though. Maybe I shouldn't use that to kill enemies. Can I knock down these bushes over here? Like, what happens if I chop down bushes? Do I get any kind of... You start to feel hungry, you should eat something. I can do that. That's all right. Uh, we have bad guys everywhere over here. Like, they are all over the place, and I thought they would despawn once the light level went up, but it doesn't appear to be the case. We may have to hack and slash our way through these dudes. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to, but it may become necessary. God, they are everywhere. Ow! Jerk face. Got a couple off on him, but they are like everywhere. Everywhere. 
Ah, there it goes. Did they blow? Did I kill them or did they blow up in the sun? Like they blow up in the sun. Let me go out. Gray dwarf, I know you're the one. I smack a dwarf all in his face, cause I've got a big axe. Da -dip, da -dip. Oh, ain't no running from this one, man. Ain't no running from this one. It's time to fight. Yup, it's time to go down in the throwdown. About to find out about it. Cool. So we managed to survive yet another day. Let's go ahead and throw that together right there. And I need to chop some trees and get some wood together. Uh, so that we can start building a house. So that we can be like indoors and away from these dudes. He seems to be pretty upset with the fact that I'm busting up his forest. Oh good, a fire monster next. Oh. I don't think fire monster is on my team. But fire monster kind of accidentally hit whatever. What is this right here? It's a cert. It's asserting itself. I don't know how dangerous these are. Oh, Christ. They don't seem to be that dangerous. Like, easy enough to take out, I guess. I'm using up my flint axe right now, which is not something that I'm especially proud of. But I need more wood, so let's chop down some trees. And if I gotta battle my way through a thousand random dwarves in order to get it done, I will. Definitely a lot of enemies around, though. Dude, I will knock the blue out of your eyes. You better believe me. I will take them sapphires. We're out here, dude. We're a Viking. We take scalps up in this piece. We don't care about this. We eat the hearts of our enemies. We roll out and then we establish trade all over the world so that society can, I guess in some respect, be like poof and grow up because I'm trading you things from a long ways away. That's a big fact about Vikings. Like a lot of people know that Vikings like raided and pillaged and stuff like that. But that was kind of like what the Vikings did in the off season. In the main season, they were actually really well-established traders. Like, they traded all over the world. Like, if you go back and you go to, like, Viking sites where they built cities and the cities fell throughout history, you find all kinds of artifacts and things from all over the world. Like, the Vikings were legit. Like, they made it to parts of the world and traveled further than a lot of people did. Uh, the Hawaiians were the same way, actually. A lot of people don't know that about the Hawaiians. The Hawaiians were super experienced navigators and boat builders. They were able to get as far as the Philippines and over to, like, islands around, like, Japan and stuff. There's, there's evidence, anyways, that they were able to sail consistently and they knew how to wayfind, like, simply by the stars and whatnot. Lots of crazy cultures out there that, like, started out and became amazing navigators and were able to just use the ocean to their advantage. Uh, we need to find a good place to make our city. There's some kind of rune stone over here. And I don't know what the rune stone does. But let's go check it out. Maybe it does something. Like, is this a rune stone? It's a waystone. You touch the cold stone surface and you think of home. So I assume that this just bound us to here maybe? So that if we die, we come back to this point? I don't know. Uh, let's get the hammer out. And I want to clear some terrain. And so what I'm going to try and do is maybe just flatten something out around here. And so looking at we get what we got going on right now, we've made a pretty good little space for building a house. And so let's clear that out for the homestead. So there we go. That looks all right. Oh, I can actually, okay. So I can actually lower it and raise it too, I think. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. This seems like a decent enough space. Uh, let's play around with it. I mean, we need the workbench in order to do the rest of it. So let's do a workbench first. I'll put the workbench on, like, this little bluff over here. So there we go. We have a workbench again. We have a little bit of wood remaining. We can make a wood wall. Okay. I wonder if it has snapped together. I suppose we'll find out. I don't know. I can't really... Wonder if, I wonder if maybe I... Oh, it does. There's like a little snap action right there. I saw it. I seen it. Okay, so take that back. And let's say that I want to like raise this up to the same level as this right here. Is that like plausible? Is that achievable? Maybe. And so there's our wood wall right there snapping that together. I can't really snap that one, so I think we're going to have to terraform a little bit more over here if we want this to work. And in fact, I think we might be better off just playing around with areas that uh, are pre-established, maybe. Or we'll just make a small house for right now. We won't make anything, like, too grandiose. It takes us two wood to get that mashed out. 
Yeah, we're missing resources, so let's go get some more trees. Uh, we've got time. The sun is up. Things are shining. Things are looking good. And so sitting next to here, I'll just make like a little longhouse right here. And if that ends up working and being a plan that's like significantly successful and keeps the enemies up and off us, then coo. I think I'll be all right with that. Where's my flint axe at? There it is. All right, let's chop down some trees. The little ones become instant wood, and I like that. I don't know if there's any resources around that we've yet to discover. Uh, there should be, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. The game's, like, in development right now, and this is just sort of like a demo build of the game, and so I can't honestly tell you how much stuff is going to be available for play, but I figured there'd be enough here to at least put it on your radar and get you ready for it, so then in the future, when it inevitably drops on Steam like everything does, you can be like, damn, and you can jump straight in knowing exactly what it is when you see it on that dashboard. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I do here on the internet. That's why I'm the Splattercat, because I show off indie games. That's what I do. That's what a Splattercat does. Worms crawl, bunnies hop, Splattercats play indie games. It's what occurs. A little bit more right here. There we go. Ooh, that's a good old pile of wood right there. I love the way the resources, they fall down and they stack. I, I don't know why I enjoy that so much, but when games just give you like a little, I don't know, like an inventory pop-up, and the inventory pop-up is just like, you got this much, that doesn't make me as happy. I like it when a bunch of stuff falls on the ground and like clanks around, and then I get to play with it, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I prefer. And so this is actually kind of upraised right here. I think that if I could figure out the terraforming a little bit better, we'd have better luck about this whole thing. I don't know if this house is actually going to be like... Oh, it actually flattened that time. Yay! Huzzah. This pleases me. I guess I'll build from this side first. Although these are on different layers than one another. So this might get a little weird. But hell, if things have got to get a little weird, I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll put down those supports right there. Does it not like that? Ugh, altitude changes. It's not a fan. All right, then. Well, we'll just make a jank house, then. Something to protect me from the elements is all that I want. There we go. So we've built ourselves a little jank house over here. I think it's a really good idea to go get a little bit more wood before nightfall comes. And so let's chop down one or two more trees. Yeah, because monsters are going to start to be here soon. And I need, I need weapons for... Uh... Oh, my axe broke. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Just keep going. Also, don't let a tree fall on you. That would be a bad life decision. Uh, I need to chop this. Come on, let me chop you. There we go. I need wood for a club, and I need wood for a fire pit. I think. And I think that'll be good enough. So, like, one more tree, maybe? Let's chop down one more just in case. I've had a couple of these roll into the ocean, and that worries me, but... Back up a little bit as this thing comes down. I've lost health too many times. we got mushrooms laying around, so we've ate the mushroom. That should keep our hunger taken care of. Please don't roll into me. I don't know if this is actually hitting. Come on, bad guys are coming. I don't want to mess around with this. There we go. I don't want to be out here when the spawns start, all right? That's not what I want at all. And then we'll put in a floor in this place. I'm going to put in a fire for right now, just to make sure that we've got some kind of defense from anything that's going to come during the night. But this game is called Vegeta, if you wanted to check it out for yourself. I'll have a link for you down below so that you can play the game. Aside from that, I will see you all later. If you want to see more episodes, the easiest way to do that is hit that like button. That's the best way to let me know that you're engaged with the series and that you want to see more. In addition, it helps the channel out tremendously by increasing my exposure to the internet, even though I expose myself to it frequently. But that's business between me and Pornhub. I'll see you all later. Hi, everybody.